September 30th marks the 25th anniversary of the passage of the Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act, perhaps the worst immigration policy ever enacted by the U.S. Congress. It is a law still in place today that essentially views immigrants, refugees, asylum seekers, as people who are undesirable, people who are a threat uh, to the country, and it represents a very thorough body of law driven by principles of restriction, exclusion, and punishment of people who happen to be foreign-born. It is important to know that it is a law very strongly bound by white supremacist uh, prejudice and an extreme xenophobic uh, belief as well. It is not an accident that the majority of people who have been coming to the U.S. over the past 40 years are people of color, primarily people from Mexico, other Latin American countries, Asia, and Africa. So there is no mistake about the fact that this law is indeed uh, an example of what white supremacy looks like when it comes to uh, the way it is embedded in many of our laws, and it should have been abolished and replaced long ago. Sadly, it remains the law of the land today. This is exactly the kind of law that supports the behavior that we have seen for decades now, but especially in raw expression as we saw Border Patrol agents pursuing our Haitians, brothers and sisters, which is not a new thing. It's really something that has been done for decades against many other people. So it is about time uh, that this law uh, changes, that this law gets to be replaced by one that is based in the belief that demographic diversity is actually good for the country, uh, that honors the evidence that clearly suggests that immigrants and immigration have been extremely positive for the United States of America and for the countries of origin of the people who have made the U.S. Uh, their adopted home. I think it is important also to highlight the fact that in spite of laws like this, immigrants today are a great example of how much they believe in the idea of a United States of America that can be better for everyone and that we can contribute to make it better. So again, it is important 25 years after the approval of IRA IRA to reaffirm the importance of getting rid of it and have it be replaced by a law that recognizes the incredibly positive contributions that immigrants, asylum seekers, refugees make to the U.S.